Jordan and today I figured, you know what? Tis the season! <laughs> Let's get into the Christmas spirit, y'all. So, um, why don't you guys follow me around while we get ready for the holiday season? So, currently when I'm filming this, it's December 1st, but you're not gonna see this for probably a while. Um, but anyways, so just kind of fun to get into the holiday spirit and everything. So, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different holiday things today. And starting off, I wanted to show you the way our house is decorated because, um, fun fact, we actually kind of decorated it like before Thanksgiving. Uh, it's been up since November 1st. Yeah, so it's, it's <laughs> exposed. For a month already. <laughs> exposed. Um, we didn't mean to do that normally. Well, okay, we did mean to do that because this year we just wanted to be extra early. But normally, we wait until December 1st. So this is very fitting that today is like the official grand announcement that we're like filming it and everything. I don't really know. Makes sense in my head. Probably confusing to everybody else. But anyways, let's do a house tour. So we have a bunch of different holiday puzzles as you can see. But one of them being this. That one just showed up for a white elephant gift. And no, that's not David. <laughs> oh no! It is from the office. Kevin from the office. Wait, Kevin? Yeah. Kevin from the office. I haven't seen it in a long time. So yeah, this was from a white elephant gift exchange. Go check out Audrey's channel for that. For that um that one. Then we have our stockings, which our stockings are currently not hung up. Yeah, where are the stockings? <laughs> I don't know where they are. I don't know why we don't have them out, but these are our stocking holders. <laughs> um, next up we have our Christmas tree, and this year, every year our Christmas tree is different, you guys know. But this year we decided to go with just a classy, um, very simplistic theme where it's like all the bulbs are very matchy, different sizes, but like the same sort of vibe. Versus like in years past we um, put like bulbs that we made in like kindergarten and stuff up, but this year we just wanted to be like very simplistic, you know? It's different every single year. And that's all and we put in there was the bulbs. Also, our elf showed up today. What? Sparky! <gasps> no, he's He comes here. on December 1st. Nobody else has found him but me. So, oh, yeah. Sparky, he's our elf on the show. Nobody else has found him but me, so he's here. Um, I wonder what kind of mischievous acts he's gonna get into this year. Another part of our holiday decor is we have a nativity scene. Dun, 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 dun. And then over here, um, we have our advent calendars. Uh -uh. <laughs> so we love advent calendars in our family. They're so much fun. And so you can tell we have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot going on. Um, we have two big advent calendars that are for the dogs. <laughs> So this one's for Logan and this one is for Atlas and they get to open one each day and get a new treat. Then we have these ones right here which one is a friend's one and one is peanuts and it's actually a sock advent calendar that I got from dad. So it's full of socks. And I opened the first one and I'm wearing my socks right now. <laughs> it's a holiday armadillo from friends. Cause mom and dad love socks and so I was like I'm gonna get them a sock advent calendar. Um, oh. And then we have my advent calendar here. And the boys have matching advent calendars with me that my mom set up and everything, but they're in the other room. Um, and then we've got my mom's advent calendar, which is socks, <laughs> once again. 12 days of socks. <laughs> yes, queen. And then we have our little, this is the cutest thing ever. Okay, so I got to explain. This is Atlas's very first Christmas. 2020 is his very first Christmas, which is so exciting to me as a dog mom. I'm such a dog mom, it's kind of funny sometimes, but um, so I decided to do a little paw print <laughs> to remember his very first Christmas. Then we have a gingerbread house that's actually fake. <laughs> too good to be true, to be honest. It looks way too good. And then we just have some candies. And, and you build your own snowman. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it, right? Is that all for Christmas Day Club? Do you have anything downstairs? I think that's it. Um, that's the tour of the house. And so I figured, you know what? We should get doing some very fun Christmas things to get in the holiday spirit because it's officially December 1st and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I love Christmas time. And so one thing that I really wanted to do was bake sugar cookies with my mom. Let's go. Um, and I like to eat sugar cookies. All right, I have my mother here. <laughs> Thank Hi. you, Tom. Yes, so excited. 
Oh, he's eating some food. We need to refill their bowls. Um, actually, this year we are trying out something new. We know these are very popular. Like a lot of you guys have tried these, but the we have. Is, yeah. Are they any good? Because I want some milk and sugar cookies. We and don't ever really do this because no. I don't know. And are they sugary enough? Like you don't need frosting on them? You don't know. I don't know. I know it's very popular, but we don't do it in our house. We usually just do like sugar cookies where we frost them and like we make them from scratch. Do we make them? Yeah, so this is really easy. Ago. It does 20 but. cookies, and all you have to do is take out the cute little cookies and place them on the what? sheet. They're so cute, and they're just That's little. That's it. That's it? It's little Buddy the Elf things. They're really cute. So Wait, where is the elf? So cute. Yeah. snowman, and then some kind of trees. Yeah, this is this really is easy. Really easy. I hope it tastes good. This is our first time trying it, so it it's very too. exciting. So it just comes out in a little sheet like that, huh? Yeah, I'm and so excited for Christmas. Oh my gosh. Mom, what's the one thing you are really wishing for this Christmas? That I want? Yeah. What's on your Christmas wish list for this year? Everybody listen. <laughs> what do I want? Socks. Well, I got socks already. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're gonna have 25 days of socks. I was gonna say socks, but socks are just great. Mom, you have to keep on giving. Mom, no, I love socks. Real quick, are these cookies gonna get big so these are gonna just like go into one big cookie? I hope not. Because <laughs> you know find they're gonna out. get bigger than that. Yeah. Because those are like just like biscuits. We're hoping that it will not fill the tray. I'm thinking you're gonna have. Uh, a lot of you know, if not, we're gonna have cookie squares. There you go. Could be good. Okay, we're gonna pop these in the oven and we'll be back. Okay, while the cookies bake, we figured it is time to wrap some presents because we are a little bit early to the game and we have some presents to wrap for people. So, we are doing that. Jake, what wrapping paper did you pick? I picked Santa Claus. Yes, look at that. Love it. I picked this like red that has like sparklies. Um, anyways, let's talk about our favorite holiday traditions. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Atlas, Atlas no. Loves wrapping paper. What's one of your favorite holiday traditions, Jake? Um, the pickle on the tree. Oh, so, you gotta explain what that is in case people don't know. Okay. Um, the pickle on the tree is basically we hide like an ornament that that it's looks like a pickle. a pickle. Yeah, it literally looks like a pickle. And whoever finds it gets a snow globe. Yeah. I have already purchased a snow globe for this year, so. Have you really? I have. Oh, I'm so, just a little bit off. Maybe turn it the other direction of the box, or is it a square box? And let me just tell you, in our family, the pickle tradition is a big deal. One of my other favorite traditions, actually, is looking at Christmas lights on Christmas Eve. And I know this is a popular one. A lot of people do this tradition. It is so fun. We go, actually, not even on Christmas Eve. We just do it like when it's close to Christmas, like the week before Christmas, and we get in the car, we have our hot chocolate, and we go drive around and we play Christmas music, and we just find like some of the coolest houses with different lights and everything, and just go drive around and look at them and everything. Logan, are you investigating? <laughs> He's like, do you got presents for me? He's like, Not tell me yet. it's mine. Let me rip into it. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our dogs love Christmas. They're so excited this yeah. year, which is very exciting. I, I can't wait to see Atlas. I don't know. Atlas on Christmas would know day. how to rip through presents. Oh, so he soon. knows. He knows. Sometimes it's a problem. <laughs> I know. Alrighty, so this isn't really a Christmas activity, but our cookies are done. <laughs> they look good, too. And Check so, it out. And so I figured something that we really like to do in our free time is play Minecraft. And so, um, we are logged into our Minecraft world now. I wanted to show you a little Wait, bit. Wizards got me something, got me <gasps> some bad, there's a witch! Oh, there's mom is fighting off here. a witch. Mom is fighting a witch. I don't ah, even know where she is. Gosh, oh, she's right why there. Why is there a witch here? Okay, so I wanted to show you, here's our huge mansion. Um, I'm not gonna do a full in-depth tour because, um, mom did one on her channel. But you found some secret stuff. But I did find some secret stuff that I'm going to expose in this video. And we also have a barn, and you can see a railroad system that goes underground, too. And let's see. Oh, Jake just joined. And look, we got a chicken and a mine cart, and we can just say goodbye. <laughs> He's going through the railroad, railroad system. So some of the mischievous things that I did find, though, is this one pathway right here you can see. Um, it leads to this huge tower that I think Audrey Spencer and Jake built. So that's really sus. But something else I found that nobody mentioned Look at this. Somebody has been building secret tunnels in our world. Because look, 
it was nighttime and I saw something glowing in the water, so I went down. And there's an entire huge what is that? thing here. And if you look up closely, you can see inside there's like an entire room and it's fancy. So what? somebody built something redstone. And I have no idea how you get into or any of that stuff. And I don't want to break it because um, we're trying to do it in survival, but like some of us go creative to build stuff, but like we play the game in survival still when we play. Um, when we're not building, and so I have no idea how you actually get into that. And Jake apparently has told me he's like, I also have secret bases that you don't know about yet. And I was like, Is it this one? He said, No. So there's others in our world I have no idea about. I think well, that's crazy. I know Audrey and Spencer were on last night playing, and we were busy, so we couldn't play. Yep. So they may have been working on that without us knowing building a, the secret base next to our mansion. Very well could have, honestly. Maybe I think it's so. Fun. Okay, I want to try a cookie. They're good, actually. I, I just tried one. They're yummy. They need milk. Yeah. They're dry. No, maybe. Well, and I did bake them like an extra minute, it's too, pretty even though good. it tells you not to, because I was worried, like, they say they don't brown, and I'm like, I'm used to having them a little brown. Bigger. They stay a little small. Nope, they, they say they're supposed to stay small. They're like two bites. They're three or four bites. It's pretty good. It's kind of perfect. All right, so we're going to finish playing in our Minecraft world for now and then probably um, get ready for bed afterwards. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what are some of your holiday traditions. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.